welcome to Azure Everyday. My name is Ed Sharani and today I'm going to talk about my first experience installing a software on a cloud-based platform, specifically Microsoft Azure. Uh, about six years ago, I was responsible for leading an ERP, SAP ERP implementation on Microsoft Azure. Uh, so we did have a little bit of a say in the software tool selection for the customer we were looking working for, which was a local not-for-profit. Uh, that was interested in tracking their inventory with scanners and having that auto populate into the ERP system and have it set up in such a manner that they didn't have to worry about things like disaster recovery as the warehouse that they had was in a, uh, a hurricane zone and the, 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 the possibility of a, um, of, an, of, of a natural disaster occurring was in fact pretty high. So uh, the installation overall was very neat. Um, it was my first opportunity to work with a uh, cloud-based platform. And so like anyone who's never, who's, who's traditionally worked in just machine-based server client relationships and having the opportunity to finally work in the cloud, um, it was, it, there was an assignment factor and actually seeing it come to fruition was, was very, very neat. Um, so overall, it was a wonderful experience. Um, there were hurdles and hookups that we had to overcome. Uh, I want to say the biggest hurdle that we had was when we were installing the client base uh, of, of uh, SAP of, of, um, uh, onto the individual machines, it wasn't talking to the server like we had anticipated. Uh, so ultimately, we discovered that the reason behind that was because that the, the, the guy that we had did not necessarily specify the compatibility of certain PC OSs and its ability to talk to the server. And so we noticed that the Windows 7 machines that we were using were not compatible with the server installation of SAP. And we had we overcame that by simply trial and error, you know, testing on different machines ultimately, and then realizing, hey, we finally got it to work. And then realizing, okay, things don't work with Windows 7. And so um, that essentially resolved the issue. And it overall ended up becoming a successful endeavor, a one that was very pleasant and something that I've been, um, you know, uh, excited about as a result of uh, in terms of working for in other uh, cloud-based platforms going forward. Uh, so if you have any questions about this solution, um, any, any of the hurdles and, th and challenges that we overcame, um, all, all, all we ask you to do is um, click on the link below. Uh, and if you want any other additional information about Azure, do the same and we'll do our best to, to provide our assistance. Thank you very much.